Hello, art fam. It's Luis Martin, the art engineer, and welcome to the studio. Welcome to the safe space where we collage and uh, play this high reward and low risk art making activity. I have an adventure planned for today. But before we do that, remember to like, subscribe, um, send me some good vibes and, um, and share, 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 share this with one person and it'll do a world of difference to me and to them and uh, and everything will be good in the world all right how are you i am super good and like i said i have a really exciting adventure up my short sleeves uh, but before we even go there i want to invite you to be part of the 6m program that's happening in july there's one happening right now we started in january and we end in june i'm working with 10 artists who are working on amazing projects to level up and take their art practice to the next level and i'm not one of those people who are all about the art who are all about the business i'm very um holistic so we are talking about art as soul work we're talking about art as something that can we can thrive and yes even make money with and um and feed every aspect of who we are as a person so join me if that feels right to you uh go to artboss.org and uh let's get to work also i am going to be part of the other art fair here in brooklyn which happens may 18th through the 21st if you're in New York, I invite you to come along, join my mailing list at collagedream.com and um, you might get an invitation to the opening. Uh, all right, so what are we doing today? I forget, I forget, I forgot to open the door sometimes and just go out. So we're gonna do that today. We are gonna go to, drum rolls, to the New York Public Library, epic epic library it's been around for 112 years 112 years uh, and it's the most used library in the united states so let me get my sweater and um come with you have your tokens no i'm kidding we don't have tokens anymore we used to have these beautiful tokens to get into the subway systems it disappeared like five minutes after I arrived to New York, so I just got my hands on one and I have it somewhere under my mattress. Um, now the Metro is paid with your app, actually. We used to have cards, but they did away with that. Now we have our phone, we pay with our phone. It's $2.75 each way. Uh, you can take transfers. It is a little elevated, I must say, but it gets the job done and it gets us to where we're going. Right behind the Central Library is Bryant Park. Bryant Park is this beautiful space in the middle of the city with a nice green lawn. The library is on 5th Avenue and 42nd Street. Yep, the same 42nd Street where the ball drops. So just a few blocks, a few steps away is the anthill that is Times Square. When I was a kid and I was um, in middle school, middle school, elementary, not so much high school, but these were just not safe spaces for me. So a lot of the times I ditched and went to the library because the library has always been a safe space for people. And for me specifically, it was a place where I can just disappear and feel safe between stacks of books. Before I go in, I like to take a minute to kind of just sit and, you know, sit with my feels, as they say, because when you're about to go into a museum or go into a concert even, there's a lot of, of expectations, right? Like, what am I doing here? Like, I know I'm gonna see a lot of things, but why am I really here? Is sometimes a really good question, right? Inspiration, to, to elevate myself, to feel alive, right? I like to take that moment to center myself. I'm gonna sit here on the steps and just, even if I write nothing about the library or nothing about my expectations, if I take a moment with myself, I know I'll be a little bit clearer and my eyes will see a little bit better. So much to the point that I noticed the statue behind me. Oh my goodness, I've never noticed this statue. And I've been to the library many, many a times. Can you just take a minute? Who needs to go to Italy? I mean, go to Italy, but who needs to go to Italy?
This is the iconic entrance to the museum. Some of you might recognize this from The Day After Tomorrow, which is a horrible movie. And again, I hate doomsday movies because we're manifesting them. They're coming true. And in this horrible movie, there's a scene where there's a huge riptide coming into the city and people take shelter in the library and they have to burn books to stay warm. Hmm. The New York Central Library has exhibit spaces in most of their branches. The one we are going to see today is called Treasures, and it's basically a collection of treasures that the library has acquired. The idea of it is not necessarily that these are specific treasures that go together, but these are objects that have been treasured by the library and given the space to have meaning and context within the city. So it explores a lot of different uh, themes. OMG, forget the fact that we're in front of a Matisse. Look at that. That's a Romare beard and silk screen. He was one of the most famous collage artists, African American, and it's beaming with sound. Can you hear the jazz? Can you hear just like the vibration coming out of it? I mean, God. love it. I'll be perfectly honest. When I go to museums, I'm not a very good museum goer because I'm super hyperactive. What I like to do is I like to get to a museum and see what calls me, right? And see what calls me and why it calls me and take a moment with it. And then my eyes see a yellow steno pad drafted letter by none other than James Baldwin. The fact that this man existed has given me so much bravery and, and gumption to, to be a gay man, to be an artist, to speak up and not be afraid. This is a letter that he drafted in support of Angela Davis, who was being persecuted on trumped up charges for her ideas and her political views. In this draft, James Baldwin calls her a dangerously gifted black teacher. Wow. This was written shortly after Martin Luther King's death. So this man is writing with passion and anger and a need to get this message across. Wow. Just take that in for a minute. this beautiful collection of Native American drawings and illustrations of costumes and, and regalia is just so moving. Normally I think this is a little stuffy, but it's a dirt and it's composed of over 200 individual prints. That's kind of interesting. I can take some from this. Original Audubon. Do you know how many times I've cut this? How many times I've destroyed this guy's work? I love it. He'd probably be rolling in his grave. But look how beautiful this is. So anytime you have a public library, you don't have a connection, a collection of just beautiful gems. <laughs> Seek them out. There is a lot to get and draw inspiration from. I am absolutely floored and I can probably spend another day here just responding to the different objects and books and memorabilia. There is a lot to get and draw inspiration from. It's exciting to see this collage by Romare Beard in, in context to the whole map of Manhattan. Can you imagine if the whole map of Manhattan was collage? So the city really looked like that. I mean, whoa. All right, let's go back to the studio. I mean, wow. Like, I am moved to the core. I wasn't expecting that. I knew I was gonna go see something fun, something exciting. I was, knew I was gonna get excited, but oh my God. I can't even begin to explain all the things that were there. There was a lot of amazing American stuff that we didn't see, like the Declaration, like Bill of Rights. And then there was some collage work that I couldn't even wrap my head around by 
but in New York, I mean, it was it was a lot. It was beautiful. I need to go back, and I will go back. For you, my friends, if you are not in New York, guess what? You have access to a lot of this information, a lot of these artifacts on the website. Go to nypl.org, and you have access to audio recordings, to images, and it's amazing. So I picked up this. This is the brochure, and as I was reading it, they have an audio guide, an audio guide read by Anna Devere Smith. If you followed me for a while, you know I've recommended this book. Letters to a Young Artist by said Anna Devere Smith. If you are an artist of any age starting now, this is a beautiful collection of letters that she's responding to, to a artist, a hypothetical artist, an, an unnamed artist. And it's beautiful. So, my goodness. Now, I get to synthesize, that's the word, synthesize all of that beautiful information, all of that beautiful history into my work, into a collage. So I'm going to synthesize with my hands. So this is this is what you do, you guys. We, we go out into the world, we have conversations, we see things, and then as artists, we get to synthesize before I start. My stepmother once told me the most amazing, insightful thing she ever said to me. She said, it must be nice being an artist because you always have something to do, something, you're never alone. And I thought, whoa, you're absolutely right. So yes, thank you very much for pointing that out. I have three magazines. I have Bon Appetit, Afar, which you know is my favorite, and Travel and Leisure. Um, yeah, no, really, this is like real, like my head is still spinning. So what are some of the ideas that I really enjoyed from the things that I saw? I love the Durr huge piece that was that was compiled of many different uh, prints, right? And uh, obviously, um, I loved the collages that I saw, and I'm trying to just picture what what a huge collage like that would look like, right? It was next to this, the map of New York, and it was like, whoa. So. Okay, I'm taking note of all that, and I'm going to let it synthesize. This is not an assignment. This is not even a prompt. So I'm not going to sweat if none of it gets through. All I know is that I'm inspired. So let's dive in. Ooh, flowers. All right, so tell me, how are you? Do you go to the library? Do you go to museums? You know, as the world opens, we can do this again. We can... You can explore the world, you can wear your mask, you can go alone, you can go with friends. Oh my god. Look at this. This is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's pink. Okay, I like this. I don't know if I can use it. Oh, I like this because it's just fonts and I love fonts. Okay. I also love that it's spring. This weekend was rainy the whole day and in, in New York, or I'm sure everywhere now, it rains sideways. Like it doesn't just come from above and now it's like sideways and some other crazy stuff was happening that I saw on the news as far as weather. So I hope you're safe. Stay safe. Um, so I don't know you guys. I don't know. All I know is that I'm here now and I'm collaging. Look at that. It's almost brutalist, but it's nicer. Um, while I was thinking of places to go, one of the places that I thought I'd go was to go look at a building and, and kind of respond to a building. I went to a school here in the city that has the ugliest architecture, I kid you not. It is a brutalist building, um, which means that it's very chunky. Wow, that's beautiful. It's super chunky and boxy. Um, and it's... It, it, has absolutely no humanity. And I mean, it was done on purpose, I think. Uh, but that's the school that I went to. Ooh, is this a bomb me? Oof, goodness. Okay, wow. I see pink. I see pasta. Ooh, you guys, it's spring. I see a cat. You guys, a cat, really? Is it a cat gonna come into my beautiful, serious collage? Here I am, like we're talking about Angela Davis and James Baldwin and Durr, and I'm like, I'm gonna collage a cat. Why not? <laughs> Why not? 
Uh, did you see the amount of people just walking around just in the streets and the subway? That wasn't even rush hour, my friends. <laughs> rush hour is another story. I don't leave my house. I don't leave. Uh, I try not to be in the streets during rush hour. Although, I will say, when I do leave my house, it's usually around, ooh, this is nice, around um, three for my afternoon coffee. And that's the time all the high school students get out of class. And you saw the video, I'm not tall. So I'm kind of like navigating these rowdy teenagers. God bless them, I know they need a place to be, but oh, the Utes, beware of the Utes. Guide the Utes. Did I just see this? Wait, am I getting, am I confused? Is this the exact same? Or did it, I, I'm, yeah. The Utes, I, I'm in the horror of the Utes. No, yes, I already saw this, you guys. But good thing I came back to it because honestly, I love these flowers. Okay, so exciting news. I am getting ready for this show that's coming up, the other art fair. It's going to be epic. I did it five years ago. It was tons of fun. It was pre-pandemic. The world has changed, obviously. Uh, so I'm excited to... Oof, that's beautiful. We connect more countries than any other. Turkish Airlines. Um, so I'm excited to present something really fresh, if that makes sense. And I can't wait to share this with you guys. Uh, ooh. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Oh, I think I have enough. And again, I'm not gonna force myself to make something literal that's like, oh, this is my Romare beard in collage, or this is my anything collage, other than this is my collage. Ooh, such, so much beauty. Okay, let's put this over here. Um, what am I gonna start with? What did I see that initially impacted me? So I, really love this. I mean, look at that. A lot of times you'll find graphic design that has been thought of so beautifully. So what I suggest is use it, but don't just use it, like alter it. Make sure that you make it your own, right? Because a lot of times um, we don't want to just take somebody else's work and call it our own, right? Uh, in collage, people say, well, aren't you just using other people's work? No, not at all. I am altering and using pieces of it to make my own visual vocabulary, to arrive at my own thoughts, right? So this is what I'm gonna do here. Look at that. So this is beautiful. And then I found this and I thought if I put it in the middle, it becomes something new again. And don't you worry, we're gonna get rid of all this. So I am deathly allergic to cats, which is probably why I like them. So I'm thinking this cat can be very much a symbol of curiosity, duh. But he won't get killed. I don't want to get killed. <laughs> it's going to be a fun uh, homage to the idea of being as curious as you want before getting hurt. How about that? Does that make sense? Okay. So last week we went to Newport, Rhode Island. Have you been to Newport, Rhode Island? My God, it's beautiful. And the people are so nice. I'm not even kidding. So I've traveled. I've actually, um, we drove, Elvis and I, from California to New York. And it was traumatizing. <laughs> I kid you not. Um, we were stopped twice because we were two brown men with Florida plates. It was not fun, my friends. Um, so when I travel around the U.S., I'm usually very weary about traveling. So I'm never at ease, honestly. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that for many reasons, not only race, but also just gender, whatever. So we get to Rhode Island and everyone is just so nice and I was uh, I loved it so thank you Rhode Island and we stayed in this beautiful hotel look at the, look what's happening here you guys this is so cool already okay let me let me free my cat uh, because 
We stayed at this hotel, the Vanderbilt Auberge, and um, beyond words. So, okay, so I'm gonna tell you a story really quick about this event, about this hotel. I, t I tell you often, when you start collaging, just rip things that call your name that you're in love with, right? And, and if you don't collage them, if you think they're too beautiful, put them on your wall, right? Put them on your wonder wall. Uh, collect everything that moves you. So you invite it into your life. So, Elvis, my husband, um, booked this trip and, you know, we were just like, oh, let's see what's out there, let's go. And the day before, I'm not kidding, the night before, I'm cleaning my studio because I don't like to leave a messy studio. And what do I find? I don't even know if I have it here. What do I find? I find this. It is of the... It is of the hotel we're going to. Like we were literally gonna be in this beautiful space less than 24 hours. It came, it just came to be. So again, do you believe in magic? I do. So, you know, but you have to do your part. That's the thing about magic, my friends, and you can turn this off if you're an atheist, but people think magic is just saying these magic words. No, it's saying the magic words and, right? And taking the stuff. It's like, you know, you take one step in the universe, takes the next. I'm just telling you some things that I know, but what do I know? Okay, here we go. Look at this. Oh, this cat. Oh my goodness. Maybe maybe this is me with all, just overwhelmed by all of the amazingness that was happening in the library. Does that make sense? I think it does. So I think pressure and expectations is the killer of creativity, right? So if I was here busting my head trying to make a collage that was specifically about my library experience, I'd be lost, right? So as artists, we have creative license to whip it up, just whip it up. And at some point you will create something, right? So I'm just whipping it up. And as I'm doing this, and like I said, this, this can represent the, the overwhelming beauty of it all. Um, look at the cat's face, right? There's something about the cat's face and uh, and the treasures they're looking at. All right, look at this. I have this beautiful blue sky and I have my beautiful hole puncher. So let's see what I can do here. Now remember, mostly every Thursday, you're invited to the Collage Dream Happy Hour on Instagram. Mostly because sometimes I have to go eat or something. Uh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Yes, kitty cat. <laughs> I absolutely love him. Okay. So the fun thing also is, you know, we were talking about James Baldwin, we were talking about Angela Davis, and um, all these really important issues. One of my favorite things to do is to be covertly political, right? To, to throw it in there in unexpected ways. So unexpected that the powers that be won't find them. No, I'm not suggesting anarchy. No, I'm not. Okay, look at this. This is so much fun. <laughs> and that is why my videos are sponsored by me and collagedream.com. Uh, you do you. You do you, boo. I think I've said that on many accounts. And I'm really talking to myself. I love how people often tell me, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what's wrong with me is that I can speak to myself for hours on end and make collages. Okay, this is really, really fun. Uh, but I'm not gonna stop yet. Because I think it's easy to be like, okay, this is balanced enough, but Perhaps that is the feeling that I'm bringing into this collage from my experience yesterday. The overwhelming beauty of it all. That would be a good title for it, right? The overwhelming beauty of it all. Okay, so what else did I cut? I have flowers. Flowers. Oof, that's so beautiful and 
melancholic at the same time. Okay, this blue, beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, you know what? I kind of like this because I talk a lot of smack about LA because I'm from LA and I didn't have the best time there. So maybe I can bring in some LA. There we go. Ooh, look at that. All right, kitty cat. Okay, I'm gonna use a straight edge because I believe in balance. And um, a nice tear goes a long way with some balance. So what can I tell you about the other art fair? I can't spill the beans too much yet about what I'm doing, but I'm doing a project. It's not just gonna be a booth with art on the wall. Nope, I'm gonna create an environment for you. So it's an invitation to come party with me, guys. Again, if you're not in New York, don't worry. But if you are, you're invited. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay, this may not. I just lost my scissors. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, no worries. Bad problem. I always say I want to speak more Spanish on my videos, so. Ningún problema. Oh, you know what this Friday is, right? Cinco de Mayo. It's not a real thing, people, so don't send me. Actually, no, you can send me something. <laughs> but uh, no, Mexicans don't celebrate it. It's a, like many things, it's an American employee to sell you things. Uh, margaritas and sombreros. So that's that. Just tell them your friend told you that. Look at this. Yes, see, that's LA. Um, hmm, I wonder why I'm talking about LA when I was just so smitten with uh, New York yesterday. But again, maybe it's that thing, right? I'm talking about balance. Balance. Okay, this pink is so cool. Um, balance and also asymmetry. God, I love asymmetry. With a face like this, it's a godsend. I don't know what that means. Um, okay, here we go. Ah! I... I almost... I actually did stab myself, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Oh, look at this. So, there's some real magic happening here. Because, look, there's, like, numbers, numerologies jumping in. It's 33, 14. Let's play the lotto. It's so funny. I have a... A collector and I don't know what we're talking about money I'm like yeah I want to win the lottery and she says for what you would give it all away <laughs> which is absolutely true I already have like I have tons of projects I want to do with people so if you win the lottery let me know I have some ideas you get a kit and you get a kit I get a car okay let's see if this works Oh my gosh, so cute. Love it, love it. Okay, and I'm not gonna stop, I'm not gonna, I said I was gonna go ham on this. Is that a word? Okay. Boop, 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 boom. Oh. I don't wanna tear stuff anymore. I think I've done enough tearing in this. Okay. You know what I did watch recently? And I don't remember the name. The documentary by Nan Golden. Holy mother. Go watch that immediately. Talk about the power of art. Um, sh she is taking down names. Like she went after the Sacklers who are like a huge pharma family who created the whole opioid uh, epidemic here in the States and around the world. I mean, wow, 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 wow. If you ever feel powerless, go check out that film. Like, yes. Art does things. Wow, I'm messy today, you guys. It can't be that gallon of caffeine I had this morning, right? Okay. I hate it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this bothers me. There's a little edge here, and that's just unacceptable 
These little things, you guys. It's the little things. You can also just fold it. I don't have to be all pristine. There we go. See? Nice. Okay, I'm not done. I want more. More. Gee, that exhibit really did touch me. Okay, maybe just one more element that can just be like, yeah. That's a treasure. Hmm. Something about this. The pink, right? Da, 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 da. Oh my god, I was having a, a session with my 6M members and I couldn't stop singing. <laughs> I just couldn't stop singing. I was like, alright, we're just gonna go with it, you guys. Join me. I'm not, I'm not even into musicals, honestly. I know. This is beautiful. I love the color. Ugh. This color, remember this color. It's gonna come into play later. Ooh, this is the best shade of green. It's Kelly green. I want an umbrella that color. I want an umbrella that color. And I'm only saying it because I know that if I say it loud enough, Amazon is gonna suggest it. <laughs> I know, I get offended when they send me things sometimes. Wrinkle cream and like, all these fun things that I didn't ask for, thank you very much. Okay, yes. Hello. Hello. Oh, I hear Elvis laughing in the other room. You know what's really funny? I had this conversation with one of my members. Um, I'm a very serious person. I'm very melancholic. I'm, I'm you know, we, we have our things. And sometimes I'll be in the studio and I'll be using my tears as glue because I'm melancholic and love listening to sad music. And it's a familiar feeling. Uh, so all of a sudden I'll hear Elvis cackling like a monkey in the other room and then i'm like oh right the world's okay <laughs> you know um it's a beautiful feeling so if you find yourself in that situation surround yourself with people who cackle like monkeys and make you happy um in the background but still make your collages not necessarily with tears at any rate okay now am i done i guess i'm done i don't know I don't know. I feel like I could have like one more like, pfft, right? I mean, we can pause this and come back to it. I'm already at what, 30 minutes or something? Ooh. Just a little pink. Never hurt anybody. Is that? It can be his crown. Oh no, that's brilliant. Is it a her, is it a he, who cares? They have an amazing pink crown. You guys, I need to stop. As I look around for more things to put. Cause you know, I keep things around. Okay, look, this is my little box. I did want to um, just do a strip of something. Can I share something with you? It's really silly since we're already in the silly zone. So the other day, I don't know what I was watching. It was a cat, a cartoon, a cat, cat. It was a cartoon. And I'm like, I wonder what I would look like if I was a cat. So I drew some. These are my three examples of what I would look like if I was a cat. I think I settled on this guy. This is what I would look like if I was a cat. What would you look like if you were a cat? Serious questions, my friends. Serious questions. Where did my cat go? Here he is. Okay, so I thought... I thought... I, oh, yes. Oh. Mm. Things are jumping. Yes. Yes. Absolutely so. And let's call it... A movie. <laughs> Let's call it a collage. Okay, so this is my collage, you guys. It has absolutely nothing to do with my trip to the library, but it has everything to do, right? I came back just spinning with ideas and conversations, and uh, this is what my head still looks like. I want to make sense of it. And sometimes it takes time to synthesize, it takes time to make sense of all of the things that we're seeing and experiencing. So I think I'm still processing uh, this beautiful exhibit. Like I said, you can go to the public library, nypl.org, and 
have access to the show that I saw and see what happens, see how you feel about it. Um, why does this work? There's a lot going on, but it feels resolved. $10 words, resolved, right? It doesn't feel like, like something has been left. The, the dots, the I's have been dotted and the T's have been crossed. Um, and I'm just really happy about it because this is exactly what I felt like yesterday. If, if we want to draw straws, right? Like pull it, pull it straws. This is me with my curiosity, super excited and absolutely overwhelmed. Uh, I live in an amazing world. I hope you do too. Just look around. It's all there. And remember, the most exciting place in the world is right under your feet. All right. This is Luis Martin, the art engineer, and I'll find you here, there, and everywhere you take your phone. Cheers.